It is April 29th, 2012, and yesterday and today, my dad and I have been working on my 8th grade science project, which is to construct a compound machine using as many simple machines as you can. And this is the design that we came up with. It is um, to, you would have a motor attached to a water wheel that we have made um, to eventually turn on a light or create energy. So you have the water wheel that's turning here that is a wheel and axle, which is one of the simple machines. You also have an inclined plane served as this bottle where the water will be rushing down. Then up here you have, um, this is how we are controlling the water output. So we have a lever, um, which is, this it would be the um, actual and the bottle would be the actual lever itself and it is being controlled by the rope which is on a pulley which is pulling it down onto there. So how did your design change from what you originally were going to do? And as our design has changed we have put stabilizers to um, hold the bottle back so it doesn't move. We have put the axle inside the bottle um, to make it from moving less. We have added supports and different ways for the water wheel to turn and things to support it and to create the least amount of friction as we can in order to allow the um, wheel to turn smoothly. Where did you get your water wheel? And this water wheel was supplied by um, Chuck, who was a next door neighbor, and it came from a um, air conditioning unit and was used as a fan in that. What would you say is your secret weapon adhesive? <laughs> this would definitely be Gorilla Glue, and this put in advertisement here, <laughs> um, which we use to, you can see it foaming up all around and this is probably one of the strongest glues we know it works a lot better than super glue and can in large amounts and is good on wood sorry right. and anything else you're going to do to finish your project is it in finished form not quite yet we are going to spray paint it blue hopefully without getting the bottles blue too much but Okay, because it's got to be spray painted. Yes. And what did, what would you say you learned as a result of this project? That engineering is always a constant motion and you're always improving upon previous designs to come up with the final project.